Ukrainian artillery fired a firestorm to burn Russian positions near Bakhmut. As Russian forces relentlessly captured the fortress of Bakhmut in eastern Ukraine at all costs, a Ukrainian artillery unit vowed to deliver a punitive blow to them. Ukrainian artillery units continuously fired on Russian positions near them. Bakhmut City on April 13. Unit Commander Dimitro stated, If we have more weapons that can penetrate deeper into enemy positions, we will be able to do more in this fight. Ukrainian gunners prepared ammunition. Ammunition to attack Russian military positions near Bakhmut. In an intelligence update on April 14, Britain announced that Ukrainian troops were withdrawing from areas of Bakhmut as Moscow resumed intense artillery attacks aimed at taking control of the city. Thought that Kiev would have to give up Bakhmut by the end of February, but it announced in March that it would continue fighting in the hope of inflicting higher casualties on Russian forces. Kiev admitted that its forces had to pay it cost a lot of manpower and material to defend the fortress of Bakhmut, a city of about 70,000 people before the war. The Ukrainian military said on April 14 that its forces had repelled 49 attacks. 24 hours of Russian forces as intense fighting continued in and around Bakhmut. As nearly 80% of Bakhmut is believed to be under Kremlin control, Kiev is using its artillery to attack advancing Russian troops. The General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine says no in its daily update on April 14 that the fiercest battles continue in Bakhmut and Maryanka. Gain control of the Bakhmut meat mill, where thousands of soldiers are estimated to be from both. Side was killed, would be a huge symbolic victory for Moscow. It would also allow Russian forces to destroy Ukrainian garrisons around Chasiv Yar and two other cities in the Donetsk region, Kramatorsk and Slovyansk. Despite facing a shortage of ammunition, Ukrainian artillery still managed to repel the Russian advance in Bakhmut. 